August in the high 90s, a lot of humidity, but with the weather around, a really nice low 80, high 70 degree night, clear skies as we are underway here in Chapel Hill. Carolina sporting the Tar Heel blue uniforms, white lettering. Werner Webb in the all black uniforms with the red lettering. Tar Heels immediately attacking top part of the screen. Ali Sentinel over there with Avery Patterson. Each of those players with a goal apiece this season. Sentinel is coming just last game. And for Carolina, really allowed them to take a breath after having a nil-nil draw in the game prior with Wisconsin. A game Carolina dominated in possession, dominated in shots, just could not break through that really tough Badgers defense. But Sentinel from about 30 yards out Got her first of the year, the first of four in that one for the Tar Heels. Gave you the couple of changes for Anson Doran's squad and the starting 11. Cross for the Tar Heels. Moxley settles, plays back. The rest of the starters the same for North Carolina. Avery Patterson. Talia Della Peruta on the wings in that attack. Ali Sentinor, Emily Colton, Emily Moxley, the other three midfielders with Maddie Darlene, who's getting the start. And then on that back line, it's been a mix at left back between Emerson Elgin and Tessa Della Rose. It is Della Rose getting the nod for the start here today with Savvy King, the freshman, in the middle, and Macy Bell on the right. First corner here for the Tar Heels will come from the far side of the field. It'll be Moxley who will play it in. Eight assists on the season last year for the grad player. Looking for Bell, a little bit long for her. Opportunity for the Bulldogs, and they will clear this one out. Savvy King gathers it at midfield. Starting in goal for Gardner-Webb, the true freshman, Jamie Martin, out of Merseyside, England, set a school record earlier this season. It was in a tough game, a 9-0 loss at the hands of the 24th ranked Clemson Tigers, but Martin did all she could. 18 saves in that one. Has actually earned the player of the game award for the team three different times this year, despite the team just having a one and three record. Tar Heels will switch field. That one a little bit long off the foot of Moxley intended for Darlene. It'll be a goal kick here for Gardner-Webb. Leah Gossett, Lena Olin, Alva Joensen, Clara Overfelt, Mackenzie Farr, Milo West, Camila Liscano, Tiana Yosik, Lily Stiegel, and Juliana Jacola. Starting 11 tonight for Gardner-Webb. Yoensen and Overfelt, the two returning leading scorers from last year's team, or excuse me, Overfelt and Clark. Four goals and three goals, respectively. Carolina will get themselves an opportunity here. A foul about five, ten yards outside of the box as Sentinel was looking to make something happen. And a free kick coming for the Heels. Sentinor weaving through traffic and just a little bit of a push there. Not enough for a card, but enough for an opportunity for the Tar Heels. Moxley lining up. Looks like she will take this for Carolina. Looks like a three-person wall. With the right foot looking for the back 90, just a little bit high for Moxley, and that'll be a goal kick here for Gardner-Webb. First shot of the game goes to Carolina, and that's been the case in all four of their games this season. Have absolutely dominated possession, at least. 2-0-2. Two -two. Wins at 3-1 against Cal, 4-0 against USC, the draws against number 10 Penn State to open the year. And Wisconsin 
uh, last week, uh, that one. But in all four of those games, though, Carolina has given up just a combined 13 shots. Not a single team has mustered more than five in a contest. Tar Heels themselves averaging, averaging a little over 21 a game, though. Anton Dorrance has talked a lot about it. He wants to see more on frame and better finishing from this team if they're going to really achieve what their potential is. And he thinks their potential is back to a national title game like they were last year. That's his key area of focus right now. The patience shown by Carolina here as they work a little three-player side. They'll switch to the top of the field. Macy Bell, who's moved to the right side of that defense, looks to get one in. And a nice read defensively there. Really, Stiegel, the freshman out of Wilson, North Carolina, able to get a foot on it. Tar Heels had a player making a run at the top of the screen. Instead, it'll be their second corner of this first half. It'll be Moxley again. Take a look there. It was Patterson making the run for Carolina. Corner played to Sentinel. She'll take the shot. Gets underneath that one, though, and sails it well over the crossbar. And out of bounds. About the same distance she scored her goal last game for North Carolina. Although that one on the other side of the field took a couple of dribbles before putting a laser right underneath the crossbar. Carolina wins the header, will reverse field. Could have had a whistle. They'll continue play, though. Here's Patterson to Thomas. Back to the goal. She'll play it out wide. Moxley. Della Rose with the one touch. And the Tar Heels will reset. It's going to be a very similar approach for Carolina to the Wisconsin game in that you can see already Gardner-Webb playing all 11 back in that attacking third when Carolina has possession. Darlene out to Bell, a little bit of space for Macy. Back to the sophomore Darlene. Good work horizontally here from Carolina, trying to spread things out. Look for a hole and a weakness in the defense of the running Bulldogs. Ball for Patterson, thought about a cross, comes back to the right foot, looking back, post, Aline is there, and just a hair late. And she and Martin nearly collide as well. Great look from Patterson, just couldn't quite connect with the speedy Darlene. You can see Darlene had to worry about the post as well as the keeper while trying to play that ball off the bounce. Get Chicola there for a push on the jump ball. It's been all or nothing this season for the Gardner-Webb running Bulldogs. Have been shut out in all three of their losses this season to Davidson at Clemson and to ETSU. Shut out their opponent in their lone win. An 8 nothing win against Allen. That gave Tina Murphy her first win as a head coach for Gardner-Webb. Carolina building top of the screen. Patterson puts the brakes on. Little 1v1 back to the right foot. Thomas with a header off the post. Darlene there. Clear attempt doesn't get it all the way out, and Carolina going to reset. Tar Heels knocking at the door. Left foot for Darlene. Thomas lets it go. Sentinor looking to settle. Top of the 18. She'll reverse field. Room for Darlene. Nice settle. Shot on goal. 
And the roller is gonna be stopped by Martin. Good job holding that one. Della Peruta, Talia Della Peruta that is, the elder of the sisters making a run, looking for a rebound opportunity. Just over 10 minutes into this one, it has been all Carolina. Five shots so far, one on frame, but it is still nothing, nothing between these two. First ever meeting between Gardner-Webb and North Carolina. Tar Heels slowly work it upfield. Nice pass through the midfield. Sentinor leaves it off a little bit behind the intended target. Looking for Della Peruta. King will take it back at midfield though. Freshman to freshman. Thomas, his first touch just skips over the foot. And Martin will send it back out of the 18. This defense for Gardner-Webb has not had a breather since the initial whistle. ahead, touch to the left side. Nobody there for Carolina. A lot of returners returning from last year's team for North Carolina, a squad that made it to the national championship. Third time for the Tar Heels to be in the Natty since 2018. Have come up in all three of those opportunities though, so these upperclassmen really chomping at the bit to bring the 23rd national championship here to Carolina. And Anton Dorrance and his coaching staff helping them out as best as they can, bringing in the number one overall recruiting class. Here's one of those players. Thomas turns on it, right-footed shot. It's gonna be stopped by Martin. Olivia Thomas and Savvy King, the two freshmen starting already at this point of the year. Thomas can go either left or right, choosing the right foot there, looking for her second goal of the season. Pressure from Carolina, really making it tough here for the running Bulldogs. Joensen sends it up to midfield where King will gather it in. King, the freshman center back for the Tar Heels, named ACC Defensive Player of the Week after week one. Carolina with a draw against Penn State and then the 3-1 win against Cal. Well, the Tar Heels picked up ACC Player of the Week on the defensive side again this past week. Although it was not the freshman again, this time it was Sam Meza. Tar Heels with back-to-back -back shutouts against Wisconsin and their first top 25 win of the year last Sunday against the 24th ranked USC Trojans. A little bit surprised at the final of that one. The Trojans lost four nothing. Carolina gets a goal somehow. That one had to have been flicked in. See if we can check it on the replay. It was Sentinor and Thomas down there just across on the ground. And Carolina breaks through with 31 left in the first half. one nothing Tar Heels. Good one-touch passing here for North Carolina. Colton, the one who gets it out wide, and it is Thomas right there. Martin trying to make the save, and as she sneaks it by the keeper, second goal of the season. We're actually going to give that one to Della Rose, say there was no touch from Thomas. Just a perfectly angled low ball that rolled past the keeper and all the way into the goal. Colton will get the assist.
after suffering a knee injury. It's either the first or second game of the season. Still getting back into full game shape, but Lance Doran says between her now being a upperclassman plus that 34 and a half inch vertical on set pieces, she is dangerous as they go to Thomas this time who can't get it on frame. But again, it is last touched by a Gardner Webb defender and another Tar Heel corner. over 15 minutes in and already six corners for the Tar Heels. This one headed up, still loose. Gardner Webb able to clear it out after it bounced around a couple of times and finally don't have to face a set piece, although Carolina does keep possession deep in the attacking third. Throw in goes to Thomas, the cross. Patterson there, balls blocked, and it is Martin diving on it before Patterson can get a second chance. Looked like that first touch for Patterson wasn't the cleanest shot she could have gotten off. Would have been tough, though, to get it through as Tiana Yosik, the senior defender, was right there in front of her. Carolina pressure forces the turnover at midfield. You can see the subs starting to warm up over on the sideline for Carolina. Such a deep roster. Darlene with the ball into space. De La Peruta back to Darlene. Darlene with it on the right foot, crosses it. Nobody there for the Tar Heels. Sentinor back across the other way. Thomas doesn't get it. De La Peruta, Darlene. And finally cleared away by Jacola. Couple of good crosses for Carolina, just couldn't connect on the other side of them. And danger averted, at least for the moment, for Gardner Webb. Moxley with the ball across. Good read for Martin. That one drifted a little too close to the goal, and the freshman keeper going to clear out some space, try and give her defense a breather. Gardner-Webb desperately needs to not just get possession, but maintain possession as well. Don't know if they've touched the ball on the Carolina side of the field yet. Sin leaves it for Colton. Here's Sentnor, corner of the 18, tried to go across, looking for Moxley, and a nice job deflecting it out back to midfield. Carolina approaching 280 minutes without giving up a goal go all the way back to their second game of the season. It was a week and a half ago. Gave up a late one against Cal in a 3-1 win. Sentinel through some traffic. into Sentinor, some room for her. Sentinor, right-footed shot, good save. Thomas there for the rebound, just a little wide. The freshman, Jamie Martin, 
at a career high, a school high, 18 saves in the loss to Clemson. Has come up big here with her third to keep it at just one nothing. Team high, 19 shots now for Ali Sentnor on the season. She looks for her second goal. Some room for Patterson. She'll put on the brakes. Cross for Moxley. Kyle Straub with you on ACC Network Extra. Appreciate you joining us here on a gorgeous evening in Chapel Hill. No humidity. Temperature started around 80. Should be in the high 70s by now. Carolina able to break through. one nothing. Make it 2-0 on the header. Talia Della Peruta. Her first of the season. And Carolina doubles up their total. Four goals, three assists a season ago for the senior out of Cumming, Georgia. Picks up her first of 23. Beautiful ball in from Avery Patterson who will get the assist. First assist on the year for Patterson. Heels building again. Sentinel's touch a little bit behind, and it'll be cleared out. And that'll give Carolina the opportunity to get their first subs in. <laughs> Olivia Thomas will head off. As Tori Della Peruta will come on, as well as Kate Fossey, the sophomore out of Phoenix, Arizona. Maddie Darlene goes off for her. Tessa De La Rose with the first goal for Carolina. Talia De La Peruta with the second. Still 20 minutes plus to go in the first half. 13 shots now for the Tar Heels. Gardner Webb still looking for their first. There's a ball in, making a run on it. Is the younger Tori Della Peruta, but out of the box and making the catch or off her line and making the catch is the freshman Martin. Looks like five more subs waiting to come in for Anson Dorrance's squad. Let's say a well deserved rest for the rest of this first half for those starters that they'll come in for. Colton near side, Moxley. Bell forced to play it all the way back to King as the Tar Heels will reset again. Fourth of five straight home games for the Tar Heels after they opened up the season at Penn State. 
Final game of this homestand Sunday against Arkansas, number eight in the country. A top 10 matchup that'll be. Game time set for two o'clock. Tar Heels really working top of the screen here, looking to switch fields as they come across. De La Rose out wide. She'll play one in, Bell there. Fossey over to Bell, and Bell has that one go over the crossbar, over everything, and out of the stadium for a goal kick. That'll bring in the handful of subs for the Tar Heels. Nice ball in, good choice there to let it go from Bell. A nice pass back from Fossey, just couldn't finish that one. Give you the subs as I can spot them out there. Looks like Bella Sember, Melina Rabimbis, Paige Tolentino, Evelyn Shore, and Kai Hayes all out for Carolina. Shore just passed that one off, playing in just her third game. Part of this number one overall recruiting class. Freshman with a brace last time out. Just 26 minutes on the field. That's pretty efficient. And the newcomers already putting the pressure, as did the starters on this Gardner Webb defense. And they get themselves a corner kick. Bimbis will take the corner. Freshman out of Warren, New Jersey. Has this one bouncing through the 18. Fossey chips it back across. Headed by a Tar Heel, but out of bounds. And it'll be a goal kick. Looked like Kai Hayes with the shot that went just wide of the crossbar. He's one of the seniors on this team. The redshirt junior out of Ponte Verde Beach, Florida. Back to the top of the screen. Shores, the freshman out of Atlanta. Hayes to Bell. 15 shots in this first half for Carolina. Just four of them have been on frame. Something I'm sure that Anson Dorrance will continue to address that he wants to see more on frame. There's a nice one from Shores. Rabimbis making a run. Couldn't quite get there, though. Even though Anson may want to see more on frame, he's seen a couple go in the back of the net, though. Two-nothing lead for Carolina, nearly three-nothing. Just a touch too much pace on that one. Fifteen to go in the first half. Shores near side for Fosse. She's going to cross that one. Della Peruta trying to get around on it, had the defender there to help block it, and it'll be off of her for a goal kick. Going to get our second sub of the game for Gardner Webb, a few minutes ago, Megan Geddes came in. 
Tia Wynn, the freshman out of Winter Garden, Florida, now checking on. Kylie Herr, as well as Sydney Cheesman or Chessman, on for the Tar Heels. Savvy King, Macy Bell, both getting their first breaks this season. They've played every minute of the first four games for the Tar Heels. Shores with a lot of space in front of her, plays it out to the sideline. Rabimbis, top of the 18. Back to Rabimbis, left foot. Goal for the Tar Heels. <laughs> Second on the season for the freshman. Bimbis sticking with it. And Carolina with a 3 0 lead here in the first half. Ties her at the top of the Tar Heel lineup. Two goals on the season. Shores, who had the brace last game. The player she is now tied with. Gardner Webb getting back on defense. Gave a lot of room and time for Tolentino to bring that one up. Played near post. Fossey there. And the header going to go out of bounds. Fossey, the sophomore out of Phoenix, Arizona. Able to get up over the defender. Just couldn't redirect that one. Shot number 17 of this first half for North Carolina. Tar Heels average a little over 21 a game. They are going to get there before we get to the locker room. Shores with the ball in. Della Peruta. Couple of different Tar Heels touch it, but the offside flag up from the near side judge. Fossi Rabimbis there as well. First touch from Della Peru to Martin, just got a shoulder on it. And I think the offside flag was up against Fossi. Otherwise, Rabimbis would have had her second goal of the game. Here's a turnover. Oliaro ahead. Ball bouncing around. Della Peruta couldn't keep it in. Tar Heels back to the top of the screen. They've been loving to get that ball right about there and serve it in. Trying to get it to Rabimbis at the top of the 18. Della Peruta is there. And it's going to be last touched by Gardner Webb. Eighth corner of the match coming up for Carolina. Bimbis looking to play it in quickly. Her red shirt freshman got a piece of that one, sending it towards the end line. And eventually, another corner here for the Tar Heels. Oh. 
Bimba is going to play this one all the way in. High lofting ball. Liaro touched it first, top of the 18. And the running Bulldogs will just play this out towards midfield. Last touch by the Tar Heels. It'll be a throw in for Gardner Webb. Here's an opportunity for them to get some numbers upfield, get the defense a little bit of a break, and maybe get themselves an opportunity and have something a little bit to feel good about going into the locker room. Instead, Carolina takes possession right off the throw in. Middle of the field and ahead of steam, Shores will slow things up and play it near side. Chessman, the sophomore from Lafayette, Colorado, back to the middle of the field. Sember out wide, shot from the 18, off the top of the crossbar, straight down, loose. Fossey misses. The crossbar has stopped two of them from going in. Carolina, I think, deflected another one out unintentionally. And finally, Martin jumps on the loose ball. I don't know how that didn't go in. The force field was up maybe, but it remains 3-0. The shot from Oliaro should have gone in. The rebound ends up hitting Della Peruta. Another crossbar from the foot of Fossey. Della Peruta in the way of another shot, this time from Hayes, just chaos in the box, but somehow Gardner Webb's escaping without giving up another goal. Here's Della Peruta to the right foot, wide for Fossey. She'll cross that one, defender in front. And Gossett clears it away temporarily. Another shot from just outside of the box. Doesn't get through the defense. This second unit really starting to pepper the goal for the Tar Heels. Ball played in, Fossey making a run. Martin able to get to it first though. 22 shots now in the first half for the Tar Heels. will throw this one is uh, in as Isabel Cox checks on for Carolina. Della Peruta with a header. Good positioning for Martin as that one right into her waiting arms. Just her third save of the night. It feels like she has made more. She's gone out and gotten a few crosses. which is probably why. Chessman with some room. Back to the top of the screen for Carolina. Rabimbis trying to spin, has it taken off her feet by Joe Ensign. And this will be a goal kick for Gardner-Webb. Just five minutes left in the first half. Carolina looks like they'll have another entire 45-minute half where they do not surrender a shot to the opponent. 
Something they've done a handful of times already this season. Just 13 shots allowed by this Tar Heel defense all year long. Back to Shores. Carolina in the attacking third again. They have lived here all night long. Rabimbis with the chip on. Della Peruta making the run. Whistle came in. She was just a little bit late, but a great look from Rabimbis trying to get Della Peruta her third goal of the season. Good hustle to keep that one in bounds. Cross with the right foot. Fossey with the header. Della Peruta, ball dribbling and just able to keep it out is the defense. Header from Della Peruta, and this one will go out of bounds. Great hustle there. Looked like it was the sophomore, Leah Gossett, who kept Carolina from their fourth goal of the game. Not a lot on that one from Della Peruta, but almost enough as Martin had gone down to the turf. Gossett able to get there just in the nick of time. He's looking for Rabimbis. And a late challenge there from the freshman. She'll be whistled for the foul. Just the fifth foul here between these two teams. It had been two apiece until that. Pretty clean first half. It plays that one up past midfield, headed by Shores, controlled by the Tar Heels, as Sember plays it wide. Just over a minute for Carolina to try and get that fourth goal before we go into the locker room for half. If they do, it'll match this season high. They had four in their last win here, which was Sunday against USC. Pass gives it to Carolina. Tolentino and Cox back and forth. Doesn't look like Carolina in much of a hurry to go forward with just 10 on the clock. They'll play one last one in. Della Peruta settles, gets a touch. The shot just wide. Had two players pulling on the jersey. Great effort from the sophomore. Couldn't quite get it done. 
But no worries, the older sister got it done, as did De La Rose and Rabimbis. And Carolina with 24 shots in the first half. More importantly, a 3-0 lead as they go into the locker room here in Chapel Hill. First ever meeting between Gardner-Webb and North Carolina. No surprise it comes as the running Bulldogs come to town with first-year head coach Tina Murphy, who played for Anson Dorrance from 96 to 2000, won four national championships, five ACC titles in her time here in Carolina. Looks like a mix of starters and subs here in the second half for Anson Dorrance's team. No Macy Bell on that back line. Asha Means, the 5'7 junior out of Charlotte. On the right side instead with Savvy King as well as Tessa De La Rose, one of the three goal scorers. Means going to chip this one in. A little bit long. She had both Patterson and Sentinor making a run to the near post. Looks like Chessman out there for Carolina in the midfield well as Macy Teeter, Isabel Cox, and Emily Colton, as well as Ab uh, Ali Sentnor, and Olivia Thomas, and the aforementioned Avery Patterson. Nona Reason still in goal for the Tar Heels. Her first ever action in her second season. Sentnor. Teeter back across. Chessman thought about playing it to Means. Instead, touched by Patterson. De La Rose can't get there. It'll be a throw in for Carolina. Played out on the near sideline by Olin. Colton for Cox. Crosses that one. Thomas taken down, shot, and it's going to be stopped by Martin. She comes up with her fourth save of the game. I think that was Sentinel that got in there for the loose ball chance, but couldn't get it past the keeper. Third shot in the game for Sentnor. Thomas with four, leading the way for Carolina in that category. <clears throat> Patterson. Sentnor brings it out and a little bit of an overpass. King will go ahead track this one down to reset. Header from Sentinel off the mark, out of bounds for a goal kick. and Colton Sentinor. Here's Thomas. Teeter will reverse field over to Means. Asha Means, the daughter of the former Tar Heel 
running back, the great Natron Means. Played from 90 to 92 over in Keenan. Also a member of the Chargers in the NFL. Eight years there. Nice ball here for Cox. She'll chase it down in the corner. Good move to get to the end line, and it'll be played out of bounds by the defense in Carolina with their first corner here of the second half. At nine in the first half, this will be their 10th. Della Rose will play this one in with the left foot. Cox with the header, still loose in the box. Sentinel coming up. It'll be Izzy Cox who plays it back to Means, though. Means forward to the 20. Finds Thomas. Thomas trying to get loose of the defense and has that one knocked away, but does earn another corner for Carolina. A lot about the freshman has been talked about this year with her speed in the open field, setting a record for the speed time in Carolina. The thing that I've been impressed with is her ability to play with the back to the goal and go both left and right once she gets the ball at the feet. Looking for Cox again. This time the defender gets to it first. Sentinel looking to settle at the 18. Comes through a crowd with it at her feet. Patterson, 1v1, has it knocked away. Back to the middle of the field for Carolina. They'll keep it in the attacking third. Teeter, the sophomore from St. Louis. Chips it on. Thomas with a touch. And the running Bulldogs able to gather this one in. Pressure from Patterson forces Gettys to play it out of bounds. And a quick throw in as Carolina gets possession back. And that is how the entire game has gone. When Gardner-Webb does get possession, it doesn't last for very long. Carolina right back at it. Means can't keep that in, but it'll be a throw in for the Tar Heels, though. Della Rose to Patterson. Avery will slow things up and send it back out. Eight goals last year for her led Carolina, or excuse me, 13 goals last year, led Carolina. She's got 19, Patterson does, for her career. To the right foot. Help defender comes over, forces her to play it back to King. Here's Della Rose. Carolina gonna switch fields. Cox, the grad player this season. Tar Heels trying to find some openings in this defense here for Gardner-Webb. Running Bulldogs not biting. They won't come out. That ball got to the body of Cox, gets out of bounds, and it will be a goal kick here for Gardner-Webb. Still five games of non-conference play for the running Bulldogs left on the schedule before they get into Big South play. They are at Marshall, home against VMI, at Wofford, home against Mercer, and then at South Carolina State before they open Big South play at home against Longwood. Last game of September, it's on the 27th of the month. Running Bulldogs picked to finish fourth this year in the Big South after second place finish in the regular season. A loss in the semifinal. Offside flag up on Colton, far side. 
as Sentinel tried to chip that one ahead to her. Tar Heels in the preseason picked to finish atop the ACC, where they found themselves last season. Tough sledding through the conference schedule, as it is every year. Florida State, a top five team, just like North Carolina. Not a single easy game on the schedule in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Sentinels swarmed by four defenders there for Gardner-Webb, but it'll be last touched by the running Bulldogs in Carolina with their 12th corner of the game coming. First one on the near side of the field here in the second half. Carolina tried to play it in quickly for Patterson. Goes back to the left foot, blocked by a defender. Still loose, 20 yards out. Means comes up. Chessman chips it to Means. Ella Rose. Patterson, 22 yards out, just over the crossbar. Great strike there from Patterson, just a little bit high. Carolina having trouble finding some room in that 18. Gardner-Webb really packing it in tight and staying in formation here in this second half so far. Patterson takes a shot from about 20, 25 out. First touch from Cox. Here's Thomas. Oliaro. Chessman looking to reverse field. A little bit light on the touch. Carolina keeps possession, though. 27 shots in the game for Carolina now. Twelve corners for the heels. No shots yet for Gardner-Webb. Patterson just a little bit low on that header as Means served one in. Year 2023, the women's program here for Carolina, synonymous with the number 23, looking for their 23rd national championship. They have been oh so close here over the last four or five years. National championship game in 18, ended up losing to Florida State overtime against UCLA last year back in 19. It was a shootout where they suffered the loss to Stanford had another College Cup appearance in 2020. 2021 being the outlier, Carolina actually eliminated in the first round of the NCAA tournament. It was a shocker, but it didn't take long for them to get back to where college soccer expects them to be. Sentinel not able to get through a trio of defenders. Della Rose able to keep it inbounds on the near sideline. Means can't penetrate that second line of defense. But we'll take the throw in on the far side for the Tar Heels. About 15 minutes gone here in the second half and a whole slew of Carolina jerseys heading over to the booth to check in at the next whistle.
Colton with the touch, and it just goes a little bit wide. Really nice turn on that one in the box from Emily Colton. Teeter with the ball into her. And here comes the line change for the Tar Heels. Seven different subs coming on for Anson Dorrance's team. Make it eight, Carolina and the referee with so many players coming on had to do a body count. And Colton will go off. And 11 on the field for both sides. We'll get back underway. Give you a reset of the Carolina roster as I see them out there. Means staying on the field, started the second half. Shores out there with Teeter. Tolentino, who has the ball at her feet right now. Kerr, uh, Kaylee Herr. Oliaro. Bella Sember making a run down the near sideline with her. Rabimbis back onto the field for the Tar Heels. Old Talia and Tori Della Peruta on the field for the Carolina Tar Heels as well. Here's Shores, tackled, and it'll go out of bounds. Last touch, though, by Gardner-Webb. Good work from the sophomore Shores. Correction, that's Darlene. Darlene got the start today for Carolina. One shot and 26 minutes of action in the first half. Tino will play this in with the left foot. High lofter headed by the Tar Heels. That was Oliaro who got to it first. And a player down for Gardner-Webb. Whistle for the referee as he calls the training staff out onto the pitch. High lofting ball played off the corner for Carolina. Oliaro went up, got ahead to it. Looks like Jack Cola, who is down for Gardner Webb inside the 18. 29, you can see her go down there in front of Oliaro. That's when the whistle came in from the referee. <clears throat> Juliana Jutkola, junior out of Finland. Good to see her walking off to the sideline under her own power. They will get a sub in for her. <clears throat> Looks like Tia Wynn, the freshman out of Winter Garden, Florida, will check on. and we'll get everybody upfield and give herself a little breathing room as she plays it back up towards midfield. Tolentino gains possession for Carolina, ahead to Oliaro.
Per the red shirt, freshman out of carry, plays it in. Win will send it upfield past midfield and give Nona Reason an opportunity to touch the ball for the first time. Reason, a highly regarded red shirt freshman back in 2020 was on the U16 US national team and then the following year jumped up to the U20 team was part of their training camp. Here's Tolentino. Liaro December looking to cross that one. Shot from distance off the hands and over the crossbar. Fortunate spin there as Martin didn't control the rebound. Carolina actually scored a goal. The second goal for sure is on something very similar where it could have been saved, should have been saved, but snuck through the hands of the keeper. Tar Heels will get a corner kick here. Teeter almost with a goal from distance. Bimbis plays this one with the right foot. Header there. Carolina with a goal. Dory Della Peruta had multiple opportunities in the first half. Couldn't break through, but gets her first chance in the second half and buries it for the Tar Heels' fourth goal of the game. Peruta sisters scoring in the same game. First the older sister Talia, now the younger sister Tori. Rabimbis, who had a goal already in the game, will pick up the assist for Carolina. And she has a multi-point game. And the Tar Heels have matched their highest output of the season back-to-back -back games now with four goals. Miss clear, Della Peruta. <laughs> the older Della Peruta, Talia takes a shot that sails wide and out of bounds, goal kick for Gardner Webb. For Tori, her second goal of the season. Now three players tied atop the scoring list for Carolina with a pair. Della Peruta, Shores, and Rabimbis. Here's Darlene with a head of steam. Plays it across the near side. Tolentino. Sember tried a little give and go and had it knocked away. But just like it has been, Carolina quickly regains possession. Lean to the left foot. She'll take a shot and it goes just wide. <laughs> Able to create an opportunity for herself. Good height on that ball, just a little bit wide going for that near side post. Also had Tori, Tori Della Peruta making a run.
Teeter ahead for Rabimbis. Nice ball from Teeter all the way out wide for Darlene. Crosses that one, Rabimbis with a touch. Deflected off of a defender and cleared out by Wynn. Talia plays it back to her. Sember near side for Tolentino. Liara with a nice pass to Sember. A couple of defenders and they're able to take it away from her. Overfelt will clear it back up to midfield. Clora Overfelt, the junior, one of the two returning goal scorers from last year's squad that finished second in the Big South. She had four goals and five assists to go along with Abby Clark. Three goals and five assists for her. Oliaro chips that one just over the head of Della Puerta. Tolentino looking for Tori, the header, she's got a brace. Perfectly weighted ball from Tori, or from Tolentino, found the head of Tori Della Peruta. The sophomore now with three goals on the season, Carolina with their highest output and they're actually gonna wave it off. I think the offside flag was up. Goal kick going to be taken from Gossett, so I apologize for not seeing that flag. It remains a 4-0 game. Gettys momentarily took that one away. Tolentino will switch fields now. Clock down under 20 is Means. Has a nice long run up the far sideline. Rabimbis ahead. Season high for Carolina with 32 shots. Nine have been on frame. There's a whistle against the Tar Heels and Gardner Webb We'll get a free kick and an opportunity here to get the ball as deep into Carolina territory as they have all night long. Gossett plays this one in and all the way on a fly. We'll get back to the keeper reason. Count as a shot for Gardner Webb, their first of the game. Tar Heel streak for holding opponents without a goal up over 300 minutes now. Came into this game at just over 256. Here's Rabimbis. Three running Bulldog defenders on her and she'll pull it out. Resetting here for the Tar Heels. Coming to the near side, Tolentino. Freshman Oliaro from right here in Chapel Hill. Della 
Huerta shot and a save from Martin. Fourth shot of the game for Talia, who has one goal. Came in the first half, her first of the season. Means looking to play a long ball ahead for Darlene. And Carolina gonna get some subs in. Second wave of subs here in this second half for the Tar Heels. Kai Hayes, Evelyn Shores, Izzy Cox back out there for the Tar Heels. Kate Fossey also back onto the pitch for the Tar Heels. Means into the 18, looking for Cox, the defense there, and they will clear it back out to midfield. near side for Oliaro. Touch for Shores, can't settle it. And it'll be another North Carolina throw in with just about 15 and a half here to go in this one. A three nothing lead at the half for the Tar Heels has grown by one to four. The post, the crossbar, they have been unkind to the Tar Heels here in their home field. Means with a touch over into the corner. Gardner-Webb able to clear this one away. Rabimbis, Shores just misses near side on the post. Just her third game of the season coming off of injury in the offseason. Had a two-goal game last time out. The freshman out of Atlanta, Georgia. Freshman to freshman connection, Rabimbis takes a shot that goes well wide. A goal kick coming here for Gardner Webb. Mentioned it earlier this half, next up for the Tar Heels will be their third ranked opponent already this season. Played Penn State and USC so far. A draw and a win in those two. They will play Arkansas here on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Razorbacks, the highest ranked team of those three, checking in at number eight this week in the polls. Carolina currently sitting at number four. Tar Heels also have South Carolina ranked 13th this week and Alabama on the schedule. Crimson Tide in the College Cup last year currently sitting fifth in the rankings. Both of those games will be on the road for this Tar Heel team. (laughs) 
Anton Dorrance loves to challenge his team, especially in that non-con early in the season. Not afraid to go on the road. He's gone to the West Coast. Says he wants to play the best teams and he wants to play them at their place if possible because then you get into the NCAA tournament and you're not going to be surprised by anything that you see. As the head coach for the Tar Heels, 45th season at the helm. 923 wins as the women's coach. Over 1,000 wins if you count his years as the men coach. First few years of his career, he coached both teams. He's going to switch fields. This is the highest pressure I've seen from Gardner-Webb as they look to try and make something happen as we approach the 11-minute mark in this one. Tolentino to Shores. Freshman not going to be able to track that one down in time, though. Out for a goal kick. Tolentino thought she had an assist earlier in the game, a perfectly crossed ball to Tori Della Peruta. But the sophomore just a little bit quick, getting in behind that defense and had the offside flag thrown up on her. Going through that top 25 list, Carolina one of seven teams this week in the top 25 for the ACC. Florida State the highest ranked team at two, Carolina coming in at four. Duke, the other top 10 team. Cox with a header. Just pop that one up. Martin will get the save. That'll be her seventh of the match. The rest of the ACC in the top 25, Clemson and Virginia at 11 and 12, Notre Dame at 15, and Pitt rounding it out at 21. Teeter looking to connect with Rabimbis. Plays that one out of bounds for a goal kick. Carolina will get a couple more subs into the match. Alice Smith, the freshman out of Charlotte, as well as Sydney Chessman, a sophomore out of Lafayette, Colorado. First appearance in the game for Smith. Chessman already with 31 minutes long. With Smith coming on, that is now 24 players who have seen action tonight for the Tar Heels. And Anson Dorrance and his staff make a lot of subs during the game, but 24, a little bit more than they're used to seeing. You can do that, though, in a game where you've got the 4 nothing lead and have completely dominated possession. Rabimbis to the ground, draws the foul, and Carolina will get a free kick. Just the third foul against Gardner-Webb in the match. Looks like the freshman, Rabimbis, will take the free kick. Strikes it with her left foot. Shores gets ahead on it, but pops that one up and out of bounds.
Good ball in. Shores just couldn't get that one to angle down. Chessman says it out wide. Jet Cola will send it out of bounds. Jet Cola, the one who we saw go down earlier after a jump ball. Good to see her back out there. <laughs> Hayes and Shores, a little back and forth. Now back to Means, top of the screen. Season high for Carolina in just about everything offensively. 36 shots, 10 on frame, 14 corners, four goals. Heels content passing this one around. Five and a half left. Means will make a move to the 18, looking for Rabimbis. Good hustle from her to keep it in, but can't save it on the sideline. It'll be a throw in for Gardner Webb. Rabimbis a little bit slow to get up. Appears to be just fine, though. Shores to Rabimbis. Looking to thread that one through for Smith. Means with a long pass through the midfield, trying to find the foot of Cox. It's knocked away, and Carolina going to uh, get themselves a corner off of this one. Played into Chessman, chipped on. And a handball looks like it's going to be called. Hayes immediately hit look to the referee. And the whistle will come in. Question now becomes who takes this shot for Carolina? You can see that one coming off of the forearm. It looks like it is going to be Means who will take the PK. Means looking to give Carolina their season high end goals. It would also be her first career goal. Steps up with the right foot off the crossbar. Heads it back towards the goal, still loose. Shores checks it, and it goes wide to the left. And again, the post and the crossbar unfriendly to Carolina here at home tonight. Means struck it well, hit the bottom of the crossbar, just came right back out to her. 
Shores with the right foot couldn't get that one to stay on frame. Thirty-nine shots in the game for Heels. Eleven on frame. Still though, four nothing. Smith to Shores, left-footed cross. There's a goal for Carolina. Back post run. Kate Fossey, the sophomore. Five-nothing Tar Heel lead. First goal on the year for Fossey. Shores will pick up the assist. For Carolina, five goals in the game. Four of them have come on assist. All five goal scorers are different. All four assists have come from different players for the Heels as well. The last two games, Carolina has outscored their opponents 9-0 after scoring just three goals through the first three games. A 4-0 shutout win at home against USC here on Sunday and what looks to be at least a 5-0 shutout win against Gardner-Webb here tonight. Means going to take a shot from well out. Not sure who the connection was looking for or if it was meant to be a shot. Either way, a goal kick for Gardner Webb, and they are in no rush to get this one back into play. It sends it up to midfield. Head of steam for Teeter. Means to Rabimbus. Shores. Shot from her off the post, and it's saved by Martin. Again, Carolina denied by the post. Cox making a run there if Martin had not jumped on it when she did. Cox had an easy goal waiting. And I can't even count how many times Carolina has been denied by the post and the crossbar here tonight. Tar Heels back in action this Sunday in a top 10 matchup against Arkansas. They will carry a 3-0-2 record into that match, as well as 346-plus minutes without giving up a goal to their opponent. A dominating